Hi, let's talk about SSR solid state relays. Let's start with a zero crossing SSR or synchronous, and they're the most common. And when you apply uh, voltage to the input, the output only turns on when the uh, sine wave reaches its zero point, you know. And they don't stop conducting until the load reaches the next zero point or when it drops below 100 milliamps. Now, uh, because of that, they have uh, good inrush current and they're, they're good for resistive heating, lamps, ballast, good general purpose uh, relay. Now we have these random turn on instantaneous or asynchronous relays and they turn on immediately. As soon as you apply a uh, signal to them, they turn on whether it's at zero uh, volts or you know all the way up to the peak voltage of the, uh, the sine wave. And those are good for inductive loads. Then we have the uh, proportional SSRs and they come in uh, phase angle or burst fire and they provide a proportional power to the load and with an analog signal input. So it could be you know 0 to 5 volts, 0 to 10 volts, 4 to 20 milliamps or just a resistance under a pot. Now these are good for precise heating and uh, dimming of lighting. So what I want to do is I want to use it for to control heating element. Now these units you know they're $150 or so and I got this one on eBay for it's a 50 amp I got it for under $5 so I'm going to try to do with this one. This uh, DA after here means that it's got a DC input and AC output. If you see a DD it's DC in DC out and a, a is AC in and AC out but we're using digital input and a AC out not AC output so I'm going to use uh, an Arduino to control the and a PWM to control the, uh, the the unit so I'm going to use pin 3 on the Arduino and if you just do an analog write to pin 3 it puts out a, a PWM signal but it's about 490 Hertz now 490 Hertz is uh, just way too um, way too fast for it. It's zero crossing so at 60 Hertz you know uh, you can have a delay of a half a cycle which would be about uh, 8.3 uh, you know milliseconds and uh, so you know 490 Hertz is just way too fast for it so even 60 Hertz would be too fast so we're gonna try to knock that down to, to 30 Hertz. Now I just took this right out of the uh, Arduino example and uh, it's just uh, I think it's in their basic example of a uh, uh, analog read and analog write. I'm just writing to uh, pin 3 here and with the analog uh, pin of 0. I put my pot on 0 and I'm just using pin 3. Now when you do this it's uh, going to be 490 Hertz. Now if I want to drop that down to 30 Hertz, you can just add this line to the setup. This just works on, uh, I think, 3 and 11. Uh, there's other codes you can use for the other pins, and this here makes it, it brings it down to 30 Hertz, and that's about as low as you can do it doing it this way. So just add that line, we get, we get our 30 Hertz out. Now, this is not you know 30 might be too fast I'm going to take a look at the scope and see what it looks like uh, if that's the case I could uh, divide the clock by 8 maybe and get down to 4 Hertz or I can just uh, might just bit bang the, uh, a unit on and off uh, and control it that way but we'll take a look and see what uh, see what 30 does now since this is uh, you know 120 volt output on here I'm going to use for my heater uh, on my bench I have a uh, uh, arc fault breaker come to the bench and then I have a ground fault interrupter and then I have a um, stop button an emergency stop and then I have a uh, uh, isolation transformer now when you take this ground here and you tie it to the uh, this ground is tied to your the chassis of your scope and that's tied to the your outlet ground it goes back to your your mains uh, panel and uh, eventually tied to your neutral and to uh, you know the ground ground rod a UFER ground 
you know, copper piping in the building, whatever you have. So you're grounding your isolation transformer. If you touch the other side of the end, isolation transfer and touch something on your bench that's that's grounded you will get a shock uh, you got to be very careful with that now I, I even I take my old uh, analog scope and I probe it first just to make sure that uh, I don't wreck something because uh, I don't want to be wrecking my uh, my good scope so I probe it with my old scope and then everything's good I'll, I'll put my uh, digital scope on there so Whenever you're dealing with mains power, you got to be very careful of the uh, the ground loops in there. You can wreck uh, a scope or get uh, uh, shocked yourself. Now, let's take a look at the uh, what the scope looks like. The center trace here is my AC, and the top and bottom I have it superimposed over the top here. This is a PWM from the uh, Arduino at uh, 30 hertz. Uh, you can see here that the uh, the top is where it's turned on and this is it's where it's supposed to be off now they don't turn on until it uh, hits the center or it it's a zero point and actually we're trying to turn it off over here and it just keeps going past a little fat past the zero point actually there's no load on this so I'm going past the zero point and then turning off uh, this is at the uh, 50% duty cycle um, I'm going to Turn it down. Let me start that back up again. Change my duty cycle here. Let's see what we got. There we go. Uh, this is where it comes on, and this is where I'm turning it off here. And uh, so, you know, the 30. 30 hertz seems to be uh, working all right. Uh, down at this point, I'm uh, I'm skipping some here. It's probably just too fast for it to uh, to turn off on here. I should slow my uh, frequency down a little bit. Let's go the other direction. That's all the way off. We'll turn it all the way on. I got a 20 turn pot here. You know, at that point, it's it just on. So probably be better if I I slowed the uh, frequency of the PWM down a little bit.